Uh, peeled button, I think. Yeah. All right, we're going for it here in a 2k. Uh, I don't think his, well, his, his river size isn't a thing. So I think it's just value that probably doesn't want to call. Oh, many. Like oddly greedy. I played a pot here in the 2k, defending ace queen suited. Tiwi barrels twice and then checks. What did you give up with? Tens. Um. Yeah, I'm not happy about this, but we are going to send it. If you threw about champs, we could just fold. But this is a spot where it's really, really hard to have bluffs. So. Just really hard to have bluffs. Just really, really hard. He's going to feel probably a bit annoyed. But it just seems a good hand to, to have there as a bluff. Got a bit of equity versus the two pairs and sets. A little bluff here with the three deuce. Ten nine will reveal itself if he has that. Shouldn't have nine eight. I think he's gonna have five four. So yeah, basically yeah. He's just in the he's just in the bin. But I don't I don't think people are gonna unless it's like well it's ten nine suited right so there's two combos of ten nine suited. This could prove to be an interesting spot because Big Blend's sitting out, which will increase these guys' likelihood to VPIP, which could increase their likelihood to jam since they're shallower. Really? Oh. Okay. All right, I've got to call the five Big Blend jam here by Bobby. Need running straights, just an ace. No, no pain for our friend. Every pot has juice implication in this 2k from here. So day two will, or day one ends at nine remain. Not thinking about it. I, ooh, I was gonna say I don't think we need to turn this into a bluff. Nice river. Don't pick up any additional chips, but that's okay. Uh, playing a pot here where we've called twice. Think. I could have queen jack. I don't know if I have king queen. I have queen nine. We'll just check. Ace jack we beat. Let's go. All right, we're juicing up in the 2K. Bang. All right. Made final table of the 2K, but yeah, again, it's not really in the money. It's still, we got a comfy spot right now. Yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Final table. Probably started at seven. All right. The table redraw has. Hit. Got a pretty good seat on the bigger stacks, actually, which is nice. Yep, three betting ace king here. Nice. It's so huge to just like not get four bet and not uh, not get battled against on flop. That's a big one. That's a big, big one. Just like chips us up significantly, you know, losing pots like that just like bring you back down to like around the shorter stack, the average stack. Two and a half X open, huh? I mean, we did play a lot with Poker Life yesterday, so we have a bit of an idea of his thought process. That top pair is a pretty good start. We want to fade the pot bet. That's what we don't want to see. Half pot is okay. Any checks from Poker Life? Any checks? Knuckle? Ooh, he checks. Got a 15% it here. I mean, we save ourselves getting raised. 
which is or not yeah we save ourselves check calling a river bet which is probably what's gonna happen a lot of the time he's probably gonna bet like half a pot and then we're in a bit of a cage uh, we also just still just value better value bet worse queens um, and if he wants to call like jacks tens I guess a rogue seven can you pull the 80s in? Got it, got it. Beth is dancing it. already. That's wrong. Uh, there's Phil's 80, okay? Flashing signs to her husband, Dan. I think she's got aces. She has aces. We do indeed have the aces. Four of clubs, his first spades. I mean, he could have like six, seven suited, but I don't think he's gonna peel that wide preflop. Let's fucking go. Bang! Clutch a little value bet there. Clutch a little value bet there. Uh, for what it's worth, I am keeping my mouth shut as much as I can about some spots because uh, it's, I mean, I kind of just like know everyone and it's, you know, this is a final table where like people are watching. So I kind of just don't want to give like indirect help. So like that's kind of why I didn't really say anything about that ace's hand and my thoughts on it. Pretty card dead the last few orbits, eight minutes until the next blind level increase, and I called it earlier, it's going to be the uh, the action blind level. Can you pull the 80s in? Got it, got it. Beth is dancing it. already. That's wrong. <laughs> uh, there's Phil's 80, okay? Flashing signs to her husband, Dan? <laughs> Okay, I think I'm just gonna go all in here. I think when he goes, yeah. All right. Free roll. Free roll. Interesting. 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 Man, I almost wish we had a different hand that we would have jammed on that flop when I see that he's got fucking aces. Wow. I mean, we didn't lose, but I was... You definitely think that's going to go differently. I mean, we got aces. It's kind of hard to be like, come on. Come on, dealer. Give us something. We got aces. It's You can't really be like, give me something here, dealer. You got del aces. That was... That's it. That's it. That's... That's the holy grail. That's the best possible starting hand. Pocket aces. The bell's ringing. Six left. Pays five. If you haven't already, click the follow button. We'll be having exciting content like this the rest of the weeks. World Series of Poker Circuit rings event on WSP.ca. Brand new Ontario client. $2,000 buy-in. 5.7k min cash. Next person eliminated gets zero. Not three. Not the German three. Zero. Oh, no. This is the German three, right? No, this is... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, we want to see Legendary win this one. Oh, he has some fuck. I I know I folded too. He has this fucking twisted. Oh, it's better if the bubble elongates. Oh my god. Oh, it's such 2013. Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Actually, pretty smart for the big spec to leave him three big blinds. No. 
<sighs> Come on, Ace. 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 King. Yes! Yes! G fucking G. In the money. All right, that's what's over. Okay, now that it's over, I, I didn't want to say it because I know he's here, potentially watching. It is so bad. It is so bad to not just eliminate people. Leaving the chips behind, maybe he has some weird thought process where it's going to call more, whatever. But then to not call the five big blind stack, it is so bad. It's, it's just, oh my god, that hurt me. That hurt me deep down in my plums so much, so much. All right, I need to think about this because I think Blue Tupac is going to be three betting a bit two wide, and I think Ryan's probably going to be opening two wide. Oh, uh, I mean, I take Ace Jack suited. Yeah, I'm going to go after Blue Tupac here. Good luck. Don't have it. Okay. It's annoying, but we need an Ace or Jack. Ace or Jack. It's just, yeah, I just know he's just going to 3-bet too wide. Oh, my God. That is such an annoying lineup to get. Uh, at least we cashed. That is... Oh. I, at least I... Oh. Yeah, that's just frustrating. GG's. Uh, found the min cash. Yeah, like, so, like, I'll, I'll explain why this is, like, such an egregious punt to fold. Okay, so, a lot of you guys think that this is, like, uh, you know... Oh, keep him in. You can apply pressure. But, like, he's still kind of, like, blundering the bag in terms of applying pressure. Like, he's not doing it properly either. Like, he's not... Like, in spots where, like, in the button here, it's just, like, why are you min-raising? It's just it's just only jam. Like, why, why are you min-raising? Uh, Ryan should just be jamming here, too. I think Ryan should have just jammed A-S8. I think, I think both of these arguable mistakes? Because, like, it's not like he can really raise call as much anyways. And it's ar he's already pretty clearly showing, like... He wants the bubble to elongate. He's min raising and not open jamming. So, like, I I would have I was gonna jam very very wide on his opens because I know he's just fucking. He doesn't want to end the bubble. Like, like the fact that he raised folded to a five big one stack. He's trying to elongate the bubble so he can keep getting RFIs in, but like he's not doing it in the right way. Um, yeah. So like he he bumble fumbled the bag here by opening. He should have just jammed. But like the thing is is like you're making you're always making more money eliminating the player than you are keeping them in. Like, uh, the chips are worth more than the, like, you're, you're giving up two bigs here, and you're giving up the, you know, the pot odds, whatever price you have. Like, maybe he didn't want to look dumb with seven deuce off, but, like, you still just got a call. But even then, I would just open jam seven deuce off. Like, this is, uh, yeah, this is just such a, such a blunder. I, it just hurts. It hurts. And the reason why I'm so angry about it, was so angry about it, is because it, it fucked me. That's, that's, that's what got me angry. Like, if I had, like, if I had, like, a 40 big one stack, I would just laugh about it. But, like, I'm on the verge of bubbling. I need this fucker to lose. Um, so, yeah, that was a bit frustrating. Yeah, it's just, like, for all you guys on your own final tables, it is infinitely more important to eliminate the player and just get the guaranteed pay jumps. Because, like, let's say you give him this and then he doubles up. Then he's already back in the tournament. You you basically have kept it five-handed. You've reduced your EV. You're making more money. You, your stack is worth more with less players. You know, you just lock up that prize jump. And plus you pick up the chips. Yeah, this is just like, this is so egregious. This is just, yeah, not a fan of this one.